Apple just released the brand new version of iOS 17. When you first download it, you may not even notice what's new. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite features that I think you're going to love. Let's get started. The first feature that is a standout is the new standby mode. This comes into effect automatically when you plug in your iPhone for charging or even if you are wireless charging, provided that you position your phone in the horizontal position you'll notice that it automatically activates standby mode. You can swipe left and right to see different options, and you can also swipe the widgets on the left and right hand side up and down and configure your standby mode to suit your individual preferences. So next time you charge your phone, make sure you place it horizontally on the desktop or tabletop and swipe across and check out all of these options. The next feature I wanted to highlight is the new metadata icon that appears under your photos. So I'm going to go into my photo library now and we'll take a look at some photos that I took in Venice a few years ago. Some of the photos have an enhanced icon, an enhanced info icon. And that's because Apple's AI has detected iconic images within that photograph that it can reconcile with a database and help you locate the location. So if I tap on that icon, you can see the AI go over the subject matter. It's now interpreted that image. And if you tap on look up landmark, you can then find out more about that location. Below that is further metadata. There's the date the image was taken, which you can manually adjust. There's information about the camera settings that were used. And below that, you can go ahead and add the location information that we just looked up in the previous step. The next feature I wanted to highlight is FaceTime, which has some new effects that will improve the way you look and sound on camera. So in order to access these new features, tap on FaceTime and swipe down from the top right-hand corner of the screen, and you'll have two new options, effects and mic mode. So if we tap on the effects option, you can change the f-stop on the lens, which allows you to have an out of focus background effect similar to the one that you get when you're taking photos using your iPhone in portrait mode. So you can increase the aperture or decrease it using the slider, and that will determine the depth of the focus. You can also use the studio light feature to improve your lighting, and you can turn reactions on or off. The next feature is mic mode, which is defaulted to standard, but you can tap on voice isolation to reduce background noise in the recording or wide spectrum if you're wanting to capture a wider spectrum of audio, for example, a music performance or a number of guests in the room. So a greatly improved version of FaceTime for both the visual and audio aspects of your recordings. Next, we're going to take a look at the ability to turn any photo into a sticker. So in order to use this feature, go to any photo in your library, tap on the subject and then tap on add sticker. And as you can see, it's isolated the subject matter and turned the image into a sticker. So in order to use that, tap on the messages app, tap on the plus icon and tap on stickers. And now you can send that sticker to anybody in your contact list. The next feature I wanted to show you was the ability to customize the profiles of your contacts. In order to access this feature, tap on the contacts icon, tap on the contact you'd like to modify, tap on edit, and tap on the add photo option. And this time you'll notice we have an enhanced interface for customizing that profile. You can go to your camera and take a photo. You can tap on the photos icon to select a photo to be used. And as you can see, it's created a full size image of that photo along with the contact name and the regular icons, including accept, decline, remind me and message. If you'd rather use Memoji for that contact, you can tap on the Memoji option Go ahead and find something that suits. Go ahead and find something that works for your contact and you can have that instead. 
or you could choose monogram, which is a really subtle effect that allows you to have the contact name with any color of your choice. And the final feature I wanted to highlight was name drop. This allows any two phones that have iOS 17 to transfer contact data by simply placing them edge to edge from the top of each phone, tap them together, and that will initiate a transfer of your contact information from one phone to the other. So hopefully you found these features of interest and you can utilize them with the brand new download of iOS 17. Let me know what your favorite feature is. Comments in the comments box below. See you on the next one. Bye for now.